Let's talk about some of the developments in down to earth this time. So this magazine focused specifically on COVID infections and it has shown that how uh, Omicron has brought in a new wave. So far, nearly 200 countries have been affected and 5.3 million people have lost this, their lives to this pandemic. Uh, the latest, latest variant, which is Omicron, spread to 27 countries in just 45 days. It is highly contagious. It is also called as a mystery strain because symptoms are still similar to the common cold. Uh, the virus killed nearly 1000 people in China and infected more than 40,000 people in just uh, uh, 45 days of its spread. Wuhan was where in Hubei, uh, where this co uh, coronavirus outbreak started and the first person, the doctor who disclosed this was to his medical student alumni group through a Chinese message messaging app which is known as WeChat and the doctor was Li Wen Liang. Uh, SARS which is spread in 2003 and Merck's which is spread in 2012 were not declared as pandemic. However, the swine flu which had the reproduction rate higher than that in 2009 was declared as a pandemic so far we have seen that a lot of people have been affected by long covid 40 percent of the people who got infected with covid faced long-term effects and this the rate in the hospitalized people was up to 57 percent much more higher and then we have seen that Children have been affected with multi-system inflammatory syndrome, which is MIG-C. And India, few cases have been reported for it. The relative, ex uh, the hospitalization for children have been relatively lower. The cases among children have been highest in Mizoram, lowest in Delhi from the data which is available so far. And in the last few months, we have seen the trajectory of growth among children between 1 to 10 years of those who have been infected. The life expectancy has been reduced by 2 years years as per one of the reports by IASP, uh, IAPS, the Indian International Institute for Population Studies. And there have been uh, rising cases of uh, people suffering from weakened immunity, which has led to severe implications of post-COVID pneumonia or uh, uh, diseases like dengue. Every fourth case in the world was reported from rural India. India recorded nearly 2.5 8.2 million new cases for COVID and May 2021 was the most tragic month for India. Multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children has been affected. It is a rare condition but most of the people from this condition recover uh, but they develop a multi-system inflammatory syndrome nearly four to six weeks after they recover. The extent of devastation is unknown. However, there has been damage to mitral wall. Uh, we have also seen cases of brain and pelvic pulmonary hemorrhage. Uh, this had lead to fatality uh, in heart, kidney, lung failure as well. And uh, there have been uh, cases of residual pandemic because of the long term effects of COVID. We have seen uh, fatigue, cough, chest pain, diarrhea, brain fog, uh, thinking sluggish or loss of memory, sore throat, disoriented sleep are some of the side effects which have been registered. Now when it comes to Omicron, uh, we have seen that the symptoms are not that severe. The severity is relatively low. It is considered similar to common cold. However, uh, this variant was discovered first in South Africa through its uni unique genome sequencing system and this was on 24th November 2021. We have covered the South Africa's genome sequencing in a separate lecture very very important and uh, it leads the world globally in terms of the networking system. Uh, we have seen that vaccination has provided a good base for people with um, uh, people uh, in terms of lowering the rate of hospitalization for vaccinated people. The previous variants were alpha, beta, gamma and delta and there have been uh, vaccination hes hesitancy because few deaths have been reported in Norway because of COVID vaccination. In Israel, facial paralysis was seen in few people. Uh, in uh, Assam, the nurses said that we don't want to be treated as guena pigs and those were some of the cases of vaccine hesitancy. However, uh, there has to be a constant effort because there have been deep cracks in the supply chain of mask, ventilator, PPE, testing kits and drugs which has to be regularized. The government of France has requisitioned all masks for its own use. Similarly, Israel, Mossad which is the intelligence agency has deployed to take control of all the ventilators. Now, patients develop multiple 
ailments due to higher administration of steroids side effects of the medicine are stopping the regular medicines which was given the deep vein thrombosis has been seen where blood clot has been seen in the deep vein pro thrombotic state where the clotting has occurred if the clot reaches the heart it could lead to heart attack if it reaches the brain it could lead to a stroke it could lead to gangrene if it reaches the leg or so uh, mental health has been affected specifically for adolescent living lonely and isolated life for elderly have also been uh, the cause of mood and anxiety symptoms there have been three quarter of mental health problem which emerged in the, uh, which emerges in the youth period social distancing and inability to inter act has been one of the pri primary reasons for the same it is believed that two years of isolation has deprived us of the 10 years of health gain we have so far achieved fda issued emergency authorization for pfizer and biontech vaccine for children between 5 to 11 years countries like norway sweden uh, switzerland uh, Italy have started giving vaccines to the children. In India, we have started vaccination for 15 to 18 years. Uh, unborn children have been infected from the mothers, but uh, there have been cases of Gullenberry syndrome, a rare syndrome which affects the nervous system. There have been cases of microcephalia, a smaller size brain than normal, which has been witnessed. And so far, we have witnessed that in the past two years, nearly 256 million children are born. Child mortality has significantly lowered since 2000 by 50 percent child marriages were declined maternal mortality has declined more girls are now going to school children in the age group of 5 to 14 years account for 7 percent of the cases we have the human capital index where we say uh, that the child mortality has been increasing in the low and the medium uh, nation countries forced migration increased significantly because of this covid lockdown and there has been a huge migration which was registered in the last year uh, and the informal sector the people involved in the informal sectors have increased the informal contribution to the gdp is around 10 percent and agriculture's contrib contribution to the gdp is 15 to 16 percent which is again mainly predominantly in the informal sector so those are some of the top highlights of this edition specifically devoted to covid and the developments around it we will be covering uh, down to earth fortnightly so every month towards the end of the month we have the yojana kurukshetra and both the down to earth earth which would be live so stay tuned for the updates and the handouts for the same are available on exam race current affairs section so if you are uh, uh, if you simply go on to exam race current affairs you can uh, subscribe for the newsletter there and that's totally free of charge and you would get the regular updates of the current affairs which would be uh, updated wish you very good luck for your preparation have a wonderful day ahead